like button. Yeah, don't be a hater all your life, man. Subscribe now. Hit the subscribe button. back because we forgot the camera and my phone charger we finna get our day started man we gotta go mail out this uh merch eat some breakfast and you know do our daily one two one two i hope y'all ready man june 1st pop-up shop going down we finna go pick up these brand new shirts that we got we finna release some june 1st see y'all gonna see them first <laughs> Because you was looking so nice and tasty. I was just thinking like, uh, I want some french fries and like some ice cream. Is that weird? So I know you guys didn't really get to see what we did yesterday, but yesterday was like really chill. Like I didn't do anything, honestly. Um, Lucky ended up having to go work. He went to go shoot a video. Oh, one of my friends came over um, and we were just hanging out. I've been sick, as y'all know. I look so crusty right now, OMG. I didn't even do a lot to my face. I really didn't do anything to my face. I just glued some eyelashes on. I didn't do anything to my hair. This is my hair like when it air dries. A lot of y'all be asking who sings the hook on the song in our intro. So the song is Own Lane by Lucky Puchano and Baby Bash off the Play and Make Mexicans album part two. Shout out to my girl Laris. Um, here's a little clip. What's up y'all, it's your girl Laris. I'm the one that sings the hook on Own Lane with Lucky and Bash and Marty Obey. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I myself have some crazy stuff coming out, music and videos that you honestly don't want to miss. Um, my Instagram is at Laris Official, L-A-R-Y-S-S -S Official. Baby boo, what do you do? Let's go do our own thing. Loving you, touching you, we're gonna swerve in our own so tell me why we decided we was gonna go to Papa Do's, right? And he gonna sit there and say, oh, I'm only gonna get a Greek salad with some crab meat on top. And then like two minutes later, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna get a salad and with some gumbo. some gumbo and some shrimp and I'm gonna order some oysters. <laughs> No, I ain't gonna get the oysters. I, I'm gonna just give me some shrimp. I, was, I meant to say shrimp. I don't wanna talk about the oysters. I'm gonna give me some shrimp, Greek salad with crab meat on top, and some gumbo. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave it at that, and then we'll go what get to the get? restaurant. You the one wanted some French fries? I am. Um, they got the French fries at Papa Do's, so I'm gonna get. I have to look at the menu. I just I'm gonna get a little something, whatever. Some fried shrimp. I'm, I'm gonna give me, I'm gonna give me something with, with some French fries though. Right, I'm gonna keep on vlogging because we need all the content we can get. You heard? We're not gonna slack today. And again, we apologize if like the previous vlogs have been short. Papa Do's. Y'all remember when we did the Instagram controls our day? Well, y'all chose El Tiempo and I really wanted Papa Do's. So I'm so happy that we're here right now. You just woke up. My chef daddy's. Order you some fried alligator. It does a body good. Don't waste your money on some damn alligator, you guys. I thought you said you were just gonna get a salad. Well, and... no, okay, now the Mediterranean seafood salad here is delicious. It's a Greek salad tossed with shrimp, crab meat, and calamari. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna eat yet. So I'm gonna look over this menu and then I'll see what I get. So Lucky got his gumbo already. Yep. And I'm low-key hating. You usually eat it with crackers. Why you didn't ask for crackers? 
Yo, the food just came through. Look at my papitas. This is what I was dying for. I want one of them fried shrimp you got right, Sha. So, I didn't think it was gonna be this big, but not tripping. This is the Mediterranean salad he was talking about. With the baby pork. Here, Gordo. Kinda hot. This is a po' boy. It's like a sandwich with like shrimp. I mean, you have options. You can have it like with. I know there's places that sell po' boys like oyster po' boys and like fish po' boys, but I've always got shrimp. You know, it's so filling. How is your salad? Ew! Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Put it in your mouth. It's good. It's calamari. Bruh, it's not fried. Octopus. Yeah, Lucky eats octopus, and I just found out. I mean, I know he eats fried octopus. I do too, but whenever you can see the whole little, are they called testicles? <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? What are they? Called? What are they called? Wait, what are they called? Tentacles. Tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> but whenever you can see the actual tentacle, I'm like, that's a big no-no, you guys. Look at that. Ugh. You're so cute. Give my straw. My straw. Y'all, so I couldn't finish my food. I wasn't that hungry. I just knew I had to put something in my stomach. I couldn't finish mine either, but I'm stuck. Let's get up out of here. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, new channel TV. So we are walking out. Woo, that was good. Thank you, Jesus. I had a couple people ask me about uh, things to invest in and how to invest money or what would be wise things to invest in. Real estate, man. Real estate is the thing to do. I recently started, well not recently, probably about nine months ago, I started a, a company, an LLC called Uncle Lux Real Estate. So what we're doing right now, we're driving around and we look for houses that need some work done to them. And we, maybe like they're behind on their taxes or maybe they behind on their mortgage and they're going into pre-foreclosure before they get their house foreclosed or they get their house taken away because they owe property taxes or things like that or if they just inherited the house and they're trying to get rid of it and then we get the house under contract for a certain amount and we assign that contract to another buyer for a higher amount it's called wholesaling you know what I'm saying? So you basically like the middleman. You go get a house, say the house is worth 150,000. You go make them an offer for 100,000. You get it under contract for 100,000 and you have 30 days to buy it. Give them a $500, it's called earnest money. $500 earnest money and that's non-refundable. So if you don't buy the house, the owner keeps that $500. So you give them $500 to put the house under contract, you have 30 days to sell it. So within them 30 days, if you offer, if you got it for under contract at 100,000, remember it's worth 150. You get it under contract for 100, you turn around and sell it for 120 or even 110, and you just made you $10,000, and you didn't really have to do nothing but put that $500 earnest money down. You know what I'm saying? So right now we on the hunt. We are looking for houses that need some love. Come in there like an angel and save the day. You know what I'm saying? Tell them, look here, man. Oh shit, hold on. Oh, they're not going to jail. Look here. This is my neighborhood. See, get the street signs. West Gulf Bank and Northeast Horizon. This is why I don't even come over here. Cause every time the police be trying to throw somebody in jail. That's why we're staying out of here. Woodland Trails now. Lake is going in. Oh yeah, he going in. Yeah. That's where I grew up, man, WTN. Anyway, right now we're looking for homes though, so we can buy. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to come in here, find us some houses that need, that are behind on their taxes or behind on their mortgage and pre foreclosure. So you know what I'm saying? We're looking for old houses that need some love. Bad kids ain't in school right now. And 
and get it under contract for a certain number and then go reassign that contract to a buyer at a higher number and that's called wholesaling all these houses here they're probably worth about between a hundred a hundred and twenty thousand so you'd go in there and you'd offer them 75 cash so i give you 75 cash and then you get it assigned to someone else for 90. so yeah you if the house is worth 120 you go in there offer them 75 cash you get it under contract for so you get them 500 earnest money non-refundable get it under contract for 75. find a buyer you put it on the market on different websites where cash buyers go and you get a cash buyer to buy it for 95 and you got it under contract for 75 you get the buyer to buy it for 95 you take them both to the title office and sign the contract they're buying the house for 95 the, ho the homeowner gets his 75 and then you get your 20 you get it then the person that bought it for 95 remember the house is worth 120 they fix it up and sell it they would have to get it for a little bit lower because if they fix it up put 20 if they put 20 30 into it and they bought it for 95 they'd be at 120 already so they'd have to get they'd have to they'd have to get it a little bit lower than that like this house right here look at this see the yards not cut see how they don't got the yard cut all the grass you can tell that that they really ain't tripping on their house too much you know what i'm saying you could probably go in there go and then what and then what you do is you get the address and then you go to the courthouse you look it up and you find out who owns the house uh, it's a public it's in public record you can find out who owns the house at the courthouse and it's uh, you know what I'm saying you find out who owns the deed to the house the title or the deed and then call them up you call them up you contact them look at this house no grass cut this one either see this house look at this one this house you can tell they care about their house you can tell they're in good standing with their house you know what I'm saying so them no, but then you find the house where they it don't look too well kept. That's how you do it, man. What street I'm on? Y'all, I'm gonna show you my house I used to live in. You wanna show you my house I used to live in? Oh wait, come on, I'm lost in this bitch. It's this way. Let you know I ain't been here in a long time. We used to live in two houses. First we moved, first moved here, we lived in one house for a few years, and then we moved to a different house. But yeah, my, I mean, my parents are renting. They weren't buying these houses, we are just renting these houses. But this is the house that I used to live in right here. 7610, my little one car garage. I used to, my window was right there in the front on the right. I used to sell my little $5 swishes out my window at night. <laughs> But see, yeah, these houses look, they look a little more kept up on this street. I should have got that address for that one house that we saw. See, look, this is, this is an example of what you could do. See, someone, this house wasn't there. This is not, a, this is not an original house. Just remodeled the whole house. They might have even tore it all down and just built a whole new house on that lot. You know what I'm saying? They even got a deck in the back. See, but look at these houses, they're, they're small, but you could just, you could refurbish them and sell them. So we're gonna take you to go see this one house that I thought was like a perfect example of something we can use. Oh. See, look, they fixed that one up. See that, they put a new garage in that one. Oh yeah, this one right here. This one right here, you can just You can tell, tell. look at the garage, it needs some work. Zoom in on the garage. I don't even think no one lives there. Yeah, no one, I don't even think nobody lives there. But do you see, if you were to see a house like this, look at that roof. You see how all that stuff is on the roof? Like, you could just tell. That's a house that needs some love. So what you do is you contact the owner and say, hey, I want to buy your house. I want to walk the property. I want to check it out. Let me go see your house. It's 9410 Jaywood. 9410. 10 Jaywood. I saw another one right here that it looked like it was good, but it already had a for sale sign on it. So you don't want to you don't want to mess with them when they already have a for sale sign or they're already listed on a on a home selling app or something like that because then they're already dealing with a realtor and they're already it's already you want to get it before that happens. You know what I'm saying? Look, the law's still on here. They got the girl. You been a snitch, girl. You been a snitch. You think she gonna hold it down? 
I don't know, but let me get up out of here, man. Yeah, man. I, I remember just walking down the street. If, when I was a young teenager, just walking down the street, they'd roll up on you and check your pockets and take a, make you stand there with a, a sign and they'd make you write down your nickname with the, like a dry erase marker. And you'd have to hold the sign right there on the street, wherever they pulled up, pulled over you, they'd take a picture of you. You know what I'm saying? Gang Task Force, that's what they was called, man. And you better hope you ain't had no weed on you. you. Better hope you ain't had no drugs on you, no gun on you, no knife on you. They find something on you, you going to jail. So we just got home. I'm getting stuff out the car. I walk in, I hear Kelly talking about telling Houston, you so handsome, you got big buck teeth like your daddy. What you mean I ain't got no big buck teeth? Before you had that grill. This is my same teeth. It just, the grill's on top. So that's why it looks different. Do I got buck teeth? I ain't got buck teeth. Gigi, you and Houston have the same little buck teeth. I ain't got no buck teeth. Daddy, yes you do. Shout out to everybody who sent fan mail. Got another box today. Y'all still got time. If y'all want to send some, we're going to be opening up everybody's mail Friday, May 31st. The last day of our daily vlog challenge. The address is in the description if you're trying to send something. We got about one, two, three, four, five items already. So shout out to y'all five, man. Salute. But hey, man, we just... Damn, I got a whole bag of chips outside. See what these... See how they do me, dog? See how they do me? I go to the grocery store and look. Whole bag of chips just thrown outside. Out of line, out of line. I know we had a long three day weekend, but it's the weekend's over. It's time to get back to work. I hope y'all being productive. Me, myself, man, I went and looked at some properties today. I did three features. Shout out to the boy Jake from San Angelo. Got him a feature with uh, the boy Cocaine on the hook. If y'all don't know who Cocaine is, look him up, man. He's a dope singer. Had him on the hook. Did another feature from uh, my partner out of Dallas, Unity. Shout out to Hydraulic West, just knocked out a feature for him. Had uh, the homie Mozzie from Sacramento on there and uh, Arsenal from New Jersey, the battle rap nigga, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's gonna be a banger, so look out for that. Have Got New Jersey, got the West Coast, the East Coast, and down South on one track, man. So y'all look out for that. If you need your feature, Hit up luckybookings at gmail.com. You get a feature for me, you know, I'm going to look out for you. I'm going to help you get it out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put it on my platform. I put the, the cover on my Instagram. I put the song on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I get it out there for you. I ain't like these other boys who just do the feature and they wash my hands with you and be done. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to really help you push it and get it out there. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I do so many features. You know what I'm saying? Because boys recognize that. They know that I'm going to help them really push their stuff and get it out there. You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, man, if you want to get you that hot 16, Go to luckybookings at gmail.com. Man, it's gonna be a hot summer. I tell you that, man. It's gonna be a hot, hot summer, man. And got hot out here and bright as hell. We gotta go back to the grocery store right now. Do y'all go to the grocery store this often? Or is it just me? Let me know, man. Does everybody go to the grocery store this often? Because I feel like I be at the grocery store two or three times a week. And that shit ain't normal. I'm waiting for Elijah to come. This, this boy need to hurry up too. Elijah got off of school at 12.30. Y'all don't know Elijah because he chooses not to be in the blog or participate in the blog. He's, you know how little young teenagers are, man. They don't want to be chilling with their parents all the time. And you know, he got his little girlfriend and he think he cool and he just don't want to be on the blog. Ain't that right, Eliza? Mm -hmm. I was telling them how you don't want to be participating in my blog, man. We're going to the grocery store. Anyway, man, I'm gonna check in with y'all in a minute. Bye. So the kids are back at home. Um, Lucky just got back. He was actually out in the grocery store, and I just been sitting here chilling with baby Houston. But I wanted to remind y'all real quick that June 1st we are gonna be in Dallas, Texas at DTLR. The address is 5334 Ross Avenue. So make sure you're there. Make sure you stay true. I can't wait to meet you. Don't know.
Oh, y'all caught me sleeping on the job, didn't y'all? <laughs> Anyways, I know I'd be starting off with funny faces like this. Or like, so I'm just going to be like, keep it like, straight face. Um, Hope y'all have a fantastic day. Hope y'all loving this vlog so far. Hopefully it's lit. Hopefully dad and mom did a great job. But I'm just going to keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going. Whoa.